Okay, the inducers come on. We're looking at the uh, hot surface igniter. That's the uh, inducer fan. Now back to the hot surface igniter. It should start glowing here pretty soon. Those are the burner tubes. The burners actually are in-shot burners. They shoot into the tubes. And when that hot surface igniter warms up enough, the gas will come on. There it is. It's warming up now. And there's your flame rod again. And you can see the terminal for it. The burners are on. And you can see that flame rod down there in the flame. So it's sensing flame, sensing it electronically by flame rectification. Uh, the inducer draws the uh, gases in through those tubes, and they're just uh, uh, round tubes. And uh, they uh, comprise the heat exchanger of the furnace. Right there is the uh, uh, nozzles that shoot the gas out. They're called gas orifices. And primary air is drawn in around the sides. Okay, if at any time the uh, flame does not reach the flame rod, then the flame rod signals the ignition control that there is no flame. Uh, that'll shut it down and if the flame rod's dirty of course it will uh, not sense and that will shut it down. It'll run probably four to seven seconds and then shut down. If the hot surface igniter never glows but the inducer comes on then you probably have a hot surface igniter failure and you can pull it out and inspect it.